Welcome to part two. Um, last time I made a small user form that allowed you to add notes to an athlete after you had seen them in the gym or had a meeting with them or something like that. Um, what I'm just going to do is, I guess, just continue to expand upon that concept by adding another user form and sort of showing you, um, I guess, an insight into some of the things that I've made for my own practice over the years where there may have been uh, as many as sort of a dozen different icons like this each with a form or, or some kind of function that allowed me to record things such as um, training uh, loads in the gym. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I put a little icon on there, but other than that, I haven't done anything else. So I'm just going to press Alt F11. And that'll go to the developer tab. I'm going to put another user form in there. What I'm going to actually do is name this user form Gym Load. So what I'm going to do is just, um, I guess, follow the procedure from last time and just quickly make up a uh, user form. I'm going to add um, fields for date. Athlete Exercise Load and comment. So um, I'll just pause for a second and fill in all the other details around that. So what I've done here is pretty rough. I have just dumped in text boxes for date, load and comments and combo boxes for athlete and exercise. Um, I've named each of them and because now we've got two forms, um, I can't just call this date box because you start getting into a little bit of trouble where um, you get confused between one form or an, and another. So I've just put a, a GL, which is a prefix of gym load, in front of each of them. So this is a GL date box, GL name box, GL exercise box, GL load box, GL comment box. And so therefore it's, it's nice and easy when you're looking at a piece of code later to know exactly what it's relating to. Now this is rough as everything at the moment, but um, it'll certainly do the job for us. Right, so... Um, let's go ahead and start um, making some of these things work a little bit better. So at the moment, we haven't connected this particular um, combo box to anything. Just as we did last time, we'll go to the row source and type athletes, hit F5. And there we see we've got our athlete names, so that's good. Now we haven't got anything set up for exercise yet, so just going to go back to Excel, go to the control panel, Why don't I just do something uh, quick and nasty like that? Obviously, um, you'll put a bit more thought into this, but I'm just going to call it exercises. Um, 
in the name manager and I'm going to go back to my form click on the combo box in the properties menu go down to row source and type exercises in there hit F5 and we should see our options there so that's great and I'm just going to start putting a bit of code in just like last time if I double click on this cancel button that gets us started and that's always a good thing to do get started what I'll do also is I'll go to my first form and I'll save myself some time I will copy this whole lot don't need the first one because I've already done that and I'll paste that in there first thing I'll have is I'll put a little GL in the beginning so I'm going to be cheeky here and I'm just going to see if I can just copy it and paste it without having to do anything to it Well, wow, that's great. The, the date loads up automatically using the code that I've written for the first one. I can choose an athlete, I can choose uh, exercise, I can type something in there, and I can make it come in. And so if we want anything to happen when we click the Add to Database button, we obviously have to make a sheet, which you haven't, haven't done that yet. So I'm going to add a new sheet. Call it Gym Loads. And just put some... different headings in there so I'll just expand some of these a bit so that all looks okay now what we want to try and do is see how much we can simply edit the old code to make it work I'm just going to put a GL in front of there for gym loads. And we'll change the name of the sheet that it has to go to. Can do a little bit of this stuff. Seems like so far so good with the copying. You don't have to do too much. You just have to start editing a little bit from here on in. So if I'm correct, what we have to put in is five lines for five different fields. This one is called exercise. All right, let's just check that. So, date, name, exercise, load, and notes. Date, name, exercise, load. Let's change that. notes all right
everything looks like it'll work. One of the things that can be quite useful to do if you're not sure is click up on the top menu that says debug and click compile VBA. Now if there's any problem it'll tell you. Now what I did and didn't pick up on it's just putting that GL for each of those. Do that again, and it didn't find any problem. So if it says nothing and does nothing after you click that compile, that's a good thing. It means that things are looking okay. So I'm going to right click, view object, I'm going to hit F5. And I'm going to put something in here and I'll see what. See what happens. That looks like it came through okay. So this is just a simple little um, database that you'd fill in. What I'd do over the, to the right here, for example, would be to make a little. Um, graph or table that just pulls out all of this particular athlete's loads for particular exercises or I can make a little dashboard part or something like that but uh, the now just recording it somewhere is, um, is what's important and you can do stuff with it later as long as your data is nicely organized so that seems like that's going okay um, what we did when we set this one up which we haven't done yet, is have this little shortcut. So to do my code in a slightly different place, I did it down here in the module. So what I'm going to do is just paste. Instead of notes form, I'm going to call it gym load form. And instead of user form one, it's called gym load and so gym load is over here so that's what I'm pointing to when we run the macro called gym load form what it does is it gets that form and it presents it so last step right click on our picture assign macro at the moment it shows all my personal macro workbook stuff which uh, there's quite a lot of but if I just choose this workbook, click on gym load form, that should be us. And so what I just quickly did was I added um, a little bit more to this. So we've got our notes we've got the ability to add some quick loads for an athlete we can add a task so we can say excuse my terrible typing here We can also add a new idea. This is something that um, I always make sure I do every time I have an idea for something. I keep a note of it. And so basically what you start getting is um, all your stuff in one place and if you've got this Excel file somewhere such as um, in a Dropbox or whatever then there's not risk of losing it but all these things obviously have been sort of done in much cooler ways than this such as iPhone apps and um, custom little programs even Microsoft Outlook is, is pretty awesome for things like tasks and so on but um, 
like I've said previously, part of it is making yourself organized and the other part is learning how to use Excel. And one of the reasons why I have developed some good skills is I've chosen to use Excel for tasks simply because it makes me learn how to do something that has a, a different application for me later. So this is a kind of an interesting way to learn a little bit about user forms and um, if along the way you get some inspiration for a different type of project then that's perfect. Um, email me for this file, it's got all of the different four forms in there and a bit more of the code because um, I didn't go through that stuff but it was really just a replication of the first two. Um, I look forward to catching you for the next video shortly.